Fredericksburg. Texas. Texas. And tell the people out there for the first, for one, how did we end up here? It's all like a blur to me. <laughs> thought we were traveling. It was so long ago. thought we were traveling this winter. Um, when we were, I don't remember even where we were. I think we were in just outside of San Antonio at a um, Harvest Host. And I just periodically checked. Castroville? Castroville, yes, exactly. And I periodically check um, work campers and the KOA site. Um, just kind of like to see what's out there, what's available, what what campgrounds are offering for work campers as far as hours. Work at KOA.com? That's what I said. You said the KOA site. People don't know what that is if they're not into this sort of thing. Go ahead. So anyway, yeah, I found it. <laughs> Where did you find it? I think I found it on the work campers. Or the Regular work, work, work campers? Camp- yeah, I think it was the work campers uh, news that comes through our email. Oh, because I know a lot of times you go because you could look for specific states on, was it, is it work at KOA.com? Yeah, that's not where I found it. Okay. And what was the key thing about this particular job that made you think you might apply here? Oh, there's a couple. Out of all the jobs that are available. There were a couple things. Um, being that it was in Texas and we were in Texas and we were heading to Fredericksburg and um, it happened to be in Fredericksburg. Um, I think the ad said something about... Uh, I don't know that it said only short seasonal, but it, I think the ad may have had said something about potentially could people who uh, could be a... So folks, we have a different camera. The battery went dead on the GoPro. <laughs> so we this time we have the Canon. So as you were saying about work camping, Christina. Uh, I think you were just asking where I found out about this job. And I had just said that um, I think it was on the work camper uh, email that we get work campers uh, email that sends the new listings of jobs okay and how long will you have been here total by the time this job is over with um about two months and you were here for the texas deep freeze yes we were <laughs> Would have thought come to Texas. So tell the people out in YouTube land what our typical schedule is here, just so they have an idea what it's what the work schedules can be like when you're work camping. Okay. So we are currently working uh, Monday, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from 9 a.m. till 5 p.m. Um, I've been working in the office. I started out um, partially in the office and then partially outside doing. I guess maintenance kind of stuff and then um, you uh, have been doing maintenance kind of stuff and uh, just last week and this week we uh, have a little bit extra added where we do from 9 to 10 or geez, 9 to 10, from 5 8 oh my lord 5 p.m. to 10 p.m. We work uh, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, and Saturday. So we did that last week, and we have one more week of doing that where we are on for, um, like, night host. So on Wednesdays, we've been working 13-hour days. Mm-hmm. And then we only have Sunday off. Yep. Sunday has been our only full day off. The night host job is actually not bad to do at all, is it? No. No, it's not. It's... Um, you know, Escorting latecomers to their site, just making the rounds, visiting with campers. That's the best part. <laughs> but well, only one of us gets paid. So we one of us can go out together. and do it, or both of us can do it, but it's and mostly just one. she does it. <laughs> we do it together, or I go out by myself. <laughs> 
Have you gone out by yourself yet? <clears throat> no. I, I don't think I have. I know you haven't. <laughs> See that folks? She's keeping track. Well, who's keeping track? So another thing I wanted to talk to you about is... So you managed to find a job where you only had to work for two months. Is that unusual? Yes. Okay. And the owner of this park said they had gotten a lot of applicants. Why do you think we got picked over the other applicants for this job? Well, if you were to guess. And we I think, don't really know, but we think it's probably because... Well, she we told know you she the other day. She called our references, and our, our, our references gave us good references. <laughs> Before we even knew we were being... Uh, what's the word? Considered. Considered, that's mm -hmm. the word I'm looking for, yeah. for the job. Um, she had gone ahead. We started hearing from our references. <laughs> right? I smell our dinner. Smell <laughs> that's it? our dinner? Yeah, I think so. Oh, okay. Yes, she had contacted um, our references through that were on the resume that I sent her via email in response to the ad. Just figured throw her hat out there and see if mm -hmm. we had no intention of working this winter. Um, but we said, we talked about it and said, you know, it gives us a good reason to stay in the area for a couple months and mm -hmm. get a little money on top of it. And just, it's a good opportunity. So to give you an idea, folks, what the compensation is for something like this, we, I'm not going to <laughs> Wow. We get paid for all the hours that we work, and we got a reduction on the cost of the site. Well so, put, honey. Well put. Without divulging <laughs> too much information. Yes. <clears throat> like obviously my wife thought I was going to do. Imagine <laughs> So what are the plans for the Happy Wanderers? The plans for the plan for the Happy Wanderers is to
will be working that Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then leave on Thursday. And then um, we're going to be heading back to New York, and uh, we are taking our time to get back. Uh, we're hoping to go. There's definitely some places along the way that we have on a list that we want to visit. And uh, we are going to take our time to get back to New, uh, New York and hopefully get in some areas that we've never been in at the same time. All right. Can you tell the people uh, what those places are? Um, so far, we have that I have that I've been working on is Waco and uh, Fort Worth, Texas. Okay, for us. So that's it. If you're enjoying the videos, folks, please like, share, and most importantly, subscribe. You'll be amazed what you see if you get off that couch. Have a great day. So if you're enjoying the videos, folks, please like, share, but most importantly, subscribe. You'd be amazed what you'll see if you get off the couch. Have a great day.